Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Leslie with All Good Artistry and thank you for joining me today for another Cricut tutorial. I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to find fonts online and then upload them into Cricut Design Space to use for your designs. So I'm going to show you a few of the websites that I use most often when I'm searching for a font that I want to use for personal use and fonts that I am going to purchase for commercial use so that the items I make using that font I can go ahead and sell because I have the commercial rights to do so. So the first website that I started using when I first got my Cricut is defont.com. This website is amazing. It has so many free fonts, like thousands and thousands. Um, and they're all okay for personal use. And then in the, the description of the font, it will show you how to get the commercial right to use that if you would like to use that font for something that you are going to sell. But this is a great website to start out if you're just making personal projects, you know, projects for your family, etc. This website has what you will need for that. It's so many amazing things. So that's the first one. The second website I use a lot is fontbundles.net. And this one has a good mix of free fonts and then fonts that you pay for, but also you can get bundles on here. A lot of times you can buy credits and then it will credit your account depending on the price of each of the fonts. So this is a great source. I often like these bundles because I mean for $15 you're getting 12 fonts instead of let's say um, yeah this history Jasmine you're getting one for seven dollars um, so it can be a good place to like buy bundles that you're like has fonts that you really like that you're gonna use a lot for stuff that you're selling but again they also have free fonts that you can use for commercial use. So if you check out the free font section, let me show you really quick. One of them that I love that I got from here is called Wisdom and I use it all the time. So this one down here, see it says free. So click on that and then it says download free now. So I can download it, it will pop up um, I can download it right into my font book and this right here under the descript under the picture says this free font comes with our premium license which allows commercial and personal use. So you're getting this free font and you can use it to sell. You can use it on items you're going to sell. Excuse me. Um, and it's beautiful. I've used it a ton. So there are free fonts that you can use commercially. And then the third one is Creative Market. And I've gotten a couple of bundles that I absolutely love from here. They have different, tons of different fonts to choose from. They also do bundles. Um, you can do graphics. They have templates like mock-ups for your, you know, if you're creating an SVG or design that you want to see on a mock-up, they have that. Um, but let me show you some of the bundles that I have purchased. So I created an account and my purchases the one I use the most is this designer's font bundle. It has some really cute stuff in here. So I use this one all the time. Um, and yes, once you purchase it, then you can use these fonts to sell. Okay, so I'm gonna sh walk you through now. Once I find one that I like, I'm going to find a free one on defont.com um, and just show you how to upload that into Cricut Design Space. So one that I know I really love is Magnolia Sky and I've used this font a bunch, especially when I first started because I just love the cursive-y handwritten look of it. So I can click on this and then it will show you here the font is for personal use only but if you do want a commercial license you can go to this website to get it I'm just gonna use it for personal use so I'm just gonna download the free version so you click download and then it should pop up in this bar click on it and it will take us to our downloads folder and then it has a few options. You want to click on the Magnolia Sky TTF, so that's the actual font. 
the PNG is just an image of what the font looks like. And then this readme file is just kind of the nitty gritty of how to use the font for personal use and commercial use. You know, the legal jargon stuff. But we're just going to click on the TTF and it will show you an example of the font here. And then I'm going to click install. Should automatically pull up your font book if you have a Mac. And then there it is, Magnolia Sky, right in my f list of fonts now. And then on the right, you can preview all of the different options of lettering, numbers, symbols that this font offers. Okay, so once you have it downloaded into your font book, I'm going to pull up my Cricut Design Space and then show you how we can then find that font in here. If your Cricut Design Space was already open and you were using it prior to downloading the font, you're going to want to quit Cricut Design Space and restart it or reopen it. Um, because if you download a new font while you're in the middle of the design, it hasn't yet uploaded into Design Space. So you're going to have to close out and then reopen Cricut Design Space for it to appear in your font book. So now I can go to fonts and type in Magnolia Sky, and there it is. So I'm just gonna say, welcome home. And like, how cute is that? So then you can go around and, you know, ungroup, play with the letters, connect them. So I've used this one a ton. So now you know how to upload a free font into Cricut Design Space. Let me quickly show you how to download a couple more and then I'm going to walk you through just a really quick font design that I'm going to do. So using the wisdom font from um, fontbundles.net, I can download it, but I already have it. So once you click download, again, you'll walk through the process of it opening up in your um, downloads folder on your computer and then you should be able to open it in your font book will be the next step and I do have wisdom right here okay so then you can preview it so if you have that free font downloaded back in Cricut Design Space I'm gonna create a text box and I'm gonna make just a little onesie for one of my friends that's about to have a baby. So I know that I want it to say locally grown, but I want the, whoops, wisdom. I want the grown part to be cursive-y. So I'm going to use my wisdom script font for this part. And I'll come back and I will move the letters closer together in just a minute. And then the other font I want to use, I got from Creative Market as part of this designer's bundle. So I paid the $19 and now I have these 95 fonts forever that I can download as much as I want. So I have them downloaded to my computer. Again, you'll click download now. So it can open up your downloads folder after you click on it. Oh, there we are. Um, I can search designer bundle. There's my designer font bundle. So it will open here and there's elements to it and there's fonts. So the TTF version then gives you all of the scripts and fonts here. You can choose to download only five of these at a time. You can click on the cloud and download all of them. It's up to you. So my, the other font that I want to use for this design is called the Brywood Serif. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to click on that and download it. Okay. Okay. I double clicked on it and now I'm installing it and then it will show up in my font book. Do, do, do. There we have it. Okay. Resolve manually because I probably already had that downloaded. And here is my 
other font I want to use. So it's in my font book. Now I can come back and let's see if it's here. If not, I'm, it's like I had told you before, we might have to see. So it doesn't show up because I was already in the middle of this when I downloaded the font. So I'm gonna save my project really quick. And then I'm going to have to quit Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to reopen it. Now this time when I reopen Cricut Design Space, it should recognize that new font that I just installed. All right, yep, more scheduled maintenance. We know, we know. Okay, cool. Let's go back to my projects now. It is really taking its time today. Okay, here's the one we just started. So I'm gonna customize that. And then I should be able to add another text box. And then let's see if it is now in my fonts. The Brywood. And there we have it, the Brywood Serif. So when you install the font, close out your design space, open it back up, and there you have it. So this is gonna say locally. Okay, so now I have both of my words that I want for this cute little onesie I'm going to make. I like the mix of a more like bold, regular font mixed with like a cursive-y handwritten one. Um, so I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna lower the letter space on this cursive one so that they all connect. And I can zoom in to see when they are close enough. Just up here at letter space, you can either click the arrow down until it looks like I was mostly concerned about this little R arm connecting to the O. So once that kind of disappears, then I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. So then I can go like this. I'm going to select both of the text box and I'm going to align them center. And then group. Here we go. I love it. So that is how I'm just going to now cut this. When I make it, I'm going to cut this on heat transfer vinyl, and then I'm going to put it on a onesie. And I'll probably show you how to do that in another video. So you can stay tuned for that. But for now, I just wanted to show you how we got um, different fonts from different three different websites. We used defont.com, we used fontbundles.net, and then creativemarket.com. So how you get fonts from on somewhere online, whether you purchase them or download the free version and then get them into Cricut Design Space so you also can make a really cute design with multiple fonts. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me today. I hope that you found it helpful and that now you have the tools you need to find fonts that you love online and upload them into Cricut Design Space so that you can also make a really cute design with one font, two, three, however many you would like. Um, but yeah, I hope it was helpful. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any ideas for different tutorials you'd like to see. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the Cricut tutorials and DIY projects that I will be uploading to my channel really soon. I hope you guys have a great day. See you later.